Ciao a tutti, my name is Steph and finally got a comment. Fantastic, I'd love to have feedbacks. Please add yours below on this video. But the comment was about my black t-shirt, which didn't fit in this white environment because I love to please my followers. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove it straight away. Okay, now that it's gone, we can talk about this video, adding mood into your photo and take it from here to there. And you know what? It's gonna be lots of fun here. Okay, let's get into it. And here I am on my PC and now I have today a new setup. You notice that maybe I have a lot of light here on the back, which is not ideal for editing of a photo, but it's quite good actually for the video. I like it. Let me know if you do like it. Now let's get back to the photo. This is a photo that I made in Vietnam. A fantastic trip, fantastic country to do travel photography. I woke up actually quite early, it was about um, probably four o'clock, 5 a.m. to go to a fishing market. And we were all of the fishermen coming back from the beach. And I had this photo of this lady that just left the fishing market going home along the beach. I love the photo, but just quite didn't have the mood that I wanted to the mood that I saw only a few minutes before I took the photo. Sometimes that's the way. I want to work now on this photo and I want to add the mood that is missing. As you know, I like to edit my photo in three phases. The first phase, I work on the essential things of the photo, which is either cropping, retouching, correcting the exposure, the shadows, the highlights. And the second part is more about trying to highlight the subject, which is in this case, the lady. And the third part is about uh, uh, correcting the colors. So as a first part, which is uh, exposure, let's go straight into the exposure. I add a little bit of exposure. Uh, let's get here. And uh, I activate it and just add a 08 step of uh, exposure, which is absolutely fine for this photo. And the second thing that I want to do is to use the retouch module to get rid of this person coming down the beach. Another one here on the right side. And there's a little bit of a garbage here on uh, the beach and that's things that are uh, taking the attention out of my subject and um, you can do that with a spot removal but I find that the retouch module works so much better and that's usually what I do I've done a video also which I'm gonna put there up on the top about the retouch module here it is the retouch module I just activated and you see that I remove a person here and then I add a little bit of a garbage here and there and you see how much better it is now we without these uh, um, distractions here on the beach. So before and after. I'm happy now with um, what we have done with the photo and uh, I want to focus more onto my subject. And uh, to do that, I'm gonna use now two modules, which is the local contrast and the basic adjustments. The local contrast is to give a little bit more of the details only in the middle of the photo. And the basic adjustment is to try to highlight more of the lady into this photo. And we go into the local contrast, I activate the module and you see that uh, I increase the details here to maybe 140-45% but I have done that only in the central part of my photo. How did I do that? Very very simple. I activated a mask and you see that I just activated an oval where I put my local contrast only in the center part of the photo. I think up to now it's a very easy going uh, editing uh, but with the next one I introduce a uh, way to use the mask which are a little bit quicker than uh, I would usually do. Now let's go into the module which is the basic adjustment and I activate the basic adjustment and with this module what I want to do is to highlight a little bit more my subject and make it a little bit more colorful and also bright it up. So you see before and after. How did I do that? How did I apply only to the person? That's very easy. First of all let's check the changes that I've done. I added a little bit of exposure and uh, contrasting and a little bit of a saturation and vibrance but that's not the complicated part isn't it the complicated part is more how to do it in a very easy way to the person only and I've done that with a drone and parametric mask why did I use the drone and parametric what you could do you could just use the brush and go there and do it step by step and let's zoom in a little bit and go step by step and it's gonna take you know a few minutes you want to avoid that um, the editing should be the 
smaller part of your photography experience making photos should be the bigger part so the quickest way to do it in my opinion is to use um, the drone and parametric mask as you see it here uh, let me do it again here and then use the brush and use the parametric mask why do I use the parametric mask? First of all, I show you just the brush that I've used, very easy busy. Now, if I don't use the parametric mask, that's the things that you get. You see how you get all of these borders, which are uh, whitish. It's not really a good thing, isn't it? I mean, I, I wouldn't present this kind of editing to anyone, not even my wife, but she's not interested in my photography anyway. But how do we actually work in order to have uh, the right details into my photo, the right borders? I use the parametric mask and I go there and I push it up, push it up. You see how it's getting smaller and smaller. It's gonna work only to the lady and here it is another step down and that's pretty much it and you see again before and after it's really subtle change but it's enough to make the subject more evident now let's go into the third phase of my editing which is about coloring and the first thing i want to do is to try to recreate that nice uh, yellowish sun sunrise mood that i had that morning i'll show you what i had just a few minutes before on another photo absolutely lovely these yellowish uh, uh, clouds the sun was just coming out uh, really nice experience that morning now let me get into the photo before and uh, you see that i don't get this feeling here but i want to recreate that and to do that what i do i use the module which is called color mapping i'm gonna steal the mood from the other photo and i'm gonna put into this photo and you will see also a problem that actually i have in doing that now let's go into this photo i go into the color mapping um, and um, what you have here is the source clusters and the target clusters i've done a video actually about the color mapping which i will put here on the top i'm not going to go into the module and how to use it but if you see that video you will see what i'm talking about now the source cluster is uh, trying to gather colors from this photo and how do you do that you just say acquire as a source and dark table is going to work on that it's going to put the colors into the source clusters now why do we have the same colors as 10 seconds ago because I've done that before and I just wanted to make sure that I didn't do a bad video now let's go back to the lady and what I want to do here I want to try to use that colors into this photo so I go again into the color mapping if you are applying the colors into this photo what is gonna happen probably is gonna overwhelm the photo because there was a lot of intense colors and the Sun was clearly overexposed but let's do that and see what's happening you see how bad it is actually the photo now we don't want to have a photo like this so what we do here uh, we apply a little bit of the masking let's go into the draw mask and what I want to do is first of all all a gradual filter which I want to put into the beach okay so I apply the change more to the sky and the second thing I want to do is to change the opacity I don't want the 100% opacity but I want to actually go down a little bit here it is much better and you see how the changes actually work introducing a nice uh, yellowish and reddish sky into my photo which is much better than before let's see before and after so much better isn't it now let's go to the next module which is the color balance why do i use the color balance simply because i want to introduce more colors into the highlights into the midtones and into the shadows and now let's go into the color balance i go here and i activate the module and uh, this is what I wanted to do. I want to introduce a little bit of bluish into my shadows, a little bit of uh, yellowish oranges into my midtones, and again into the highlights, I introduce a little bit of blue. It's very subtle change, it's not a big one, but you know, small changes usually take your photo to a different level. And let's see, before and after. I'm not sure actually if with a YouTube compression becomes evident this change because it's a very tiny change. Worst case scenario probably you're gonna think, you know, this change is absolutely useless. So you don't use it. 
one module less. Perfect, let's go on. I'm happy with the mood of this photo, but I want to add a little bit of a source of light here on the left side. You see that um, even on the legs, uh, you see the sun coming from the left side, but you don't see that into this photo. And I think I'm just gonna create a little bit of a nice mood. Uh, and to do that, I'm gonna use the RGB curve. And I'm gonna work on the colors, but only to create a sort of a bin of light. RGB curve and I'm gonna activate the module and you see that you get a little bit more of light coming from this side what kind of light you know I want to add a little bit of an orangish light so what I do in this case I take the RGB curve I go and I work on independent channels and I work on the red and the green channel if you push up the red and the green channel, in my case, I want to do it into the mid-tones. And uh, what you do, you create, you add a little bit of a reddish and the green, which together they create the orange. You can even go uh, a little bit here. You see how if you do the red, it's too much. But if you combine it with the green, obviously, it's going to work as an orange. And um, I want to do that only into the left side here and you see that you get a sort of bin of light and to do that what I usually make is I change to small and then I add the parametric mask and to this parametric mask is nothing else but a big circle with a lot of feather the maximum size of feather and you see how you can change the to have a source from the right side or from the left side. It's like adding basically uh, a sunset, you know, like a sun here on the right side, and you can uh, do that the way that you want to do it. I think, you know, you can move it even a little bit more to give more colors. I, I personally don't like that way, but the way I did it before, uh, I really like it. And you can change the opacity again to add more or less with the control and the scroller. You can go to 50% if you like less, or you know, you can go all up to 100%. I like 90% for this case. Again, it's a personal thing. And um, that's pretty much it. It's uh, very, very easy. Why did I use the uh, drone mask? Because uh, I didn't want to apply the change of this bin on the person here. And you see that um, when uh, if I show you here the mask when it's added, it's not actually added this light to the person here. And to do that again, uh, if you go down uh, and you see the uh, parametric mask, I add, I just change this value here in order not to have the lady inside. And now you see how the lady doesn't go into the masking and before the RGB curve is applied only to the sky and a little bit to the beach. It's more of a natural feeling. Okay, it's all done here and I think we are finished. Uh, one thing I want to mention here, I'll show you first uh, how it is before and after again, fit to screen, so, uh, compress here. I did it before and after. One thing I wanted to discuss with you is if photo manipulation or is it no photo manipulation? Uh, it's really a personal thing here. Uh, personally, this is the light that I had on this morning. Unfortunately, was not when I took this photo. And uh, it's very unlikely I'm gonna go back to that beach in Vietnam uh, very, very soon. A little bit because of the pandemic and also because there are so many places in the world. So I don't want to go there just for that photo. And um, what is photo manipulation in your uh, opinion? Just put a comments down below oh this is a hot subject i'm pretty sure but uh, i'll leave it to you and i'll see you in the next video Bzzz.